assalamu alaikum uh, you can very easily see right here that uh, the topic that i'm going to speak about that is paragraph writing in fact writing itself is a great art to cover up and to have the mastery on it so i'm i have started my session towards writing paragraph writing and all those components which are important for that what i'm going to learn what we are going to learn through today this video the learning outcomes from this video you will be able to learn what paragraph is you can explain the paragraph okay and to know essential elements of paragraph writing like topical sentence supporting sentence and conclusion apart from some other elements like order unity coherence completeness and transition words on the basis of different categories and types of paragraph only so today i'm not going to uh, teach you the practical approach just giving you a very chunk about those elements you will able to define and explain all those things very easily so be with me hope in the end we will and are uh, able to answer all those questions uh, those things which are mentioned right here so moving towards the first topic what paragraph is paragraph is basically a series of sentences that are organized and coherent and are are related to a single topic is called paragraph breaking the large sentence essay or topic into smaller pieces in a well structured form is known as a paragraph breaking the large sentence essay or topic into smaller pieces in a paragraph are often thought of as a unit of thought means ek paragraph mein ek unit of thought hota hai hum usse bhi paragraph kehte hain ek chunk mein agar koi ek thought aa jata hai ek thought one unit of thought so we term that as a paragraph also basic paragraph format so topic sentence what topic sentence often the topic sentence is the first sentence of a paragraph also we can call an introduction sentence of a paragraph or key sentence or topical sentence or you can say thesis statement so different names are there simple is that the pehla sentence hota hai uske different names hote hain na in different writings but we term the topic sentence it states the main idea of each paragraph and displays how the idea connects to thesis or overall focus of the paper all consequent of points presented in paragraphs must support the topic sentence har ek paragraph mein ek idea hota hai aur bahut sare paragraphs hai so all these paragraphs are going to touch upon the major one point now uh, topic sentence mein teen uh, kisme questions hote hain first one is what the topic sentence suppose in the first sentence in a paragraph second now see the question what does it do it introduces the main idea of the paragraph how do i write one summarize the main idea of your paragraph make clear what your paragraph will be about ye pura paragraph kis cheez ke bare mein hoga just give a brief sketch about that this is a topic sentence so uh this topic sentence ke bare mein teen questions hain isi tarah hi supporting sentence ke bare mein batayenge fir teen questions honge fir conclusion ke bare mein batayenge teen questions honge let's move towards the supporting sentence supporting detail the supporting sentences explain more about the topic sentence by showing some facts states or examples regarding the topic the following are the common origins of supporting details paragraph mein jo hum topic likhte hain topic ke alawa hum teen supporting sentence likhte hain theek hai na to unme kya kya aata hai jo hum paragraph ke topic sentence ke alawa un supporting sentence likhte hain उसमें आपके एक्सपर्ट ओपिनियन हो जाते हैं फेयर से हो जाते हैं पर्सनल एक्सपीरियंस हो जाते हैं आपके अदर्स एक्सपीरियंस हो जाते हैं ब्रीफ स्टोरीज होती हैं रिसर्च स्टडीज होती है योर ओन एनालिस एंड इंटरव्यू एंड सो मेनी दर्स इन बट दीज थिंग्स आर इन योर सपोर्टिंग मीन्स सपोर्ट लिखेंगे फिर एग्जाम्पल देंगे कोई चीज आप बताएंगे तो फिर हम उसके साथ कनेक्ट में आप एग्जाम्पल देते हैं तो सपोर्टिंग इज देर आर थ्री मेजर यू कैन से supporting sentences so now a move towards the first one question 
what are the supporting sentences they come after the topic sentence making up the body of paragraph means body ma ko supporting sentence hi milte hain what do they do they give details to develop and support the main idea of the paragraph jo topic sentence jo main idea hai usko support karne ke liye se jo cheeze develop hoti hain climax mein hum use kehte hain <coughs> supporting details how do i write them you should give supporting facts details and examples I mean uh, anything that support your topic sentence uske bare mein batai but it should be in order well the next one is concluding sentence it is the end of paragraph which is also known as the final statement about the topic it ties all the ideas given in the paragraph and emphasizes the main idea one last time means pure paragraph ko padhne ke baad us लास्ट में हम एक के जंग के बिल्कुल स्मॉल प्रिसाइज कंसाइज वे में उसके बारे में लिखते हैं बट इन नॉट वो व्हिच रिफ्रेड इज द होल पैराग्राफ इन द कंक्लूजन सेंटेंस द राइटर यूली रीस्टेट्स देयर ओन देयर टॉपिक सेंटेंस और समराइज द मेन पॉइंट्स ऑफ द पैराग्राफ मी वो टॉपिक सेंटेंस हुई और जो तीन डिटेल्स दे रहे हैं उनको समराइज करके लिखते हैं व्हिच टर्म देयर कंक्लूजन सेंटेंस मूव टू द थ्री क्वेश्चंस लाइक दैट द फर्स्ट वन इज what is the closing sentence the closing sentence is the last sentence in a paragraph okay what does it do it restates the main idea of your paragraph how do i write one restate the main idea of the paragraph using different words means ki same cheezon ke lekin way different hoga four essential elements of paragraph writing it is very much important without this this is you can it is the backbone of writing unity unity is a, in a sentence it starts with the subject phrase every sentence has one individual managing concept that is indicated in its subject phrase which is generally the first phrase of the sentence a sentence is specific around this main concept with assisting the phrases offering details and conclusions in order to create a good subject phrase think about your style and all the details you want to make to which point pushes the relax and then create it as your own subject sentence order order represents the way you arrange your assisting phrases whether you choose date order order of importance or another reasonable demonstration of detail or a solid sentence always has a certain organization in a well ordered sentence people follow along easily with the design you have established order helps people understand you are indicating and avoid misunderstanding coherence coherence is a quality that makes your writing understandable sentences within a paragraph need to connect to each other and work together as a whole I mean flow hota hai coherence mein flow hota hai ek cheez dusri cheez dusri cheez teesri cheez mein bilkul tartib hoti hai one of the best ways to achieve coherence is to use transition words these words create bridges from one sentence to another the next one you can use transition words that show order first second third uh, sexual relationship above below logic further more in addition in fact uh, there are so many transition words jo mere agli slide mane wale hain also in writing a paragraph using a consistent verb tense and point of view are important ingredients for coherence uh, let's move towards the completeness <coughs> completeness means a uh, expression is a well developed if all words clearly and properly assistance the significant idea then your expression is complete if there are not enough words or enough information to confirm your this dissertation or topic or thesis or any idea or claim then the expression is partial usually three essential words moreover to a topic expression and completing expression are needed for expression to be complete no details kehte hai na तीन डिटेल्स दे रहे हैं तो वो कम से कम तीन डिटेल्स आपकी टॉपिक को जस्टिफाई कर देती हैं संभाव ठीक है ना तो जब वो तीनों कंप्लीट देते हैं जुमला लिखा क्लेम किया उसके साथ सब एग्जांपल लिखा हमने तो इस तरह से तीन जब लिखते हैं तो वो आपकी कंप्लीटनेस की तरफ बढ़ते हैं द कम्प्लीटिंग स्पेशन आर लास्ट स्पेशन ऑफ द स्पेशन टू सम योर सिग्निफिकेंट आइडिया बाय स्ट्रेंथनिंग योर टॉपिक एक्सप्रेशन ट्रांजिशन वर्ड्स so there are many types of transition words that you have to apply in writing a paragraph or essay or any other writing 
first to compare also in the same manner likewise or similarly ye wo verse hai jo transition mode se maarte jab kisi ko compare karte hain second to uh, contrast contrast mein kaun se verse aate hain although and yet at the same time but despite even though however in contrast in spite of nevertheless on the contrary to on the other hand still do get to show addition again and also besides actually important first second third like that further furthermore in addition in the first place moreover next to there can be other transition words as well so to give example jab kisi ko bayan karte hain for example for instance in fact specifically that is to illustrate like that to show time after after word is as long as as soon as at last before during earlier finally formally immediately later meanwhile next since shortly uh, subsequently then thereafter until when while transition words to summarize or conclude in all in all means to conclude my words le lete hain na hum log wo is tarah se hote hain in uh, in conclusion in other words in short in summary on the whole that is therefore to sum up ye karke aap wo last sentence hota hai hum likhte hain conclusion mein wo aap likh sakte hain easily it gives uh, no idea to the reader ki ab iska ye last sentence hai ya hone wala hai theek hai na to show place or direction above below beyond close elsewhere farther here nearby opposite to the left to indicate a logical relationship accordingly as a result because consequently for this reason hence if otherwise since so then therefore thus jab hum kisi cheez ko bayan karte hain ha ki iski wajah se ye cheez hone wali hai as a result theek hai na resultantly jo hum istemal karte hain words is tarah se so types of paragraphs So basically, uh, there can be more than that, but I have just uh, come with the four only as a basic understanding. Uh, there are narrative paragraph, descriptive paragraph, expository paragraph, and persuasive paragraph. You can see descriptive paragraph. So something that I write over here. I'm not going in detail about all these things. Just you can see and visualize what that paragraph is basically. Here, five senses work, and the basis of those five senses, the way they work, the way you feel, smell, touch. We you go for writing accordingly second one is narrative where you come with the stories events incidents you describe right over narrate something like that expose it in it may also explain our process and influence the reader step by step via a form of the method here you try to pursue somebody means you writing there are some logics so argumentative paragraph and a persuasive paragraph and persuasive you are uh, you do not give much uh, references but here you pursue try to pursue on the basis of feelings but in argumentative paragraph you give reference well uh, references are given over there so this is a uh, simple introduction about the paragraph so i'm pretty sure the basic about the paragraph which would be clear to you so we will touch upon later on about the paragraph writing itself how to develop the topic sentence how to give the uh, supporting sentence and conclusion how to use transition right over there but my next video i'm going to talk about all those things thank you and have a nice time